Hey guys, Bethany here with the next chapter and today I am doing my July TBR. So these are the books that I'm hoping to read this month. Some of them should be sure bets because um, I already have them checked out from the library so I better get to them before they're due. So yeah, so here we go. So the first book that I'm reading in July is one I already talked about in my June wrap-up and it's called The Diviners. And I'm already actually halfway through it but I know I won't finish it. Um, so it's going to be going into the month of July and it is you know 1920s set in New York and it's a combination of you know like serial killer horror and supernatural um, elements and so so far it's really really good if you want to hear more about it check out my uh, June wrap-up but I'll also tell you at the end of July what I thought about it but so far so good so the next one that I'm getting to is called Legend Born, and that's another one that I wanted to read in June, and I already have it checked out from the library, but I just didn't have a chance to get to it. And so Legend Born is young adult fantasy, and it is a modern retelling of the Arthur legend. And I don't actually read a ton of fantasy, but I do enjoy the Arthur legend, so I'm looking forward to reading this one and actually getting it done this month. And then the next one that I want to read is actually something I read last year and it was one of my top reads of 2020 and it's called Station Eleven. And I am rereading it because number one, I really enjoyed it and number two, my sister just re read it on my recommendation and she really enjoyed it and wanted to talk with me about it. So I thought that I would reread it so that I would be fresh on it on some of the details so that we could have a good chat about the book. So Station Eleven is a post-apocalyptic, post-pandemic story and we have um, you know a big disease that goes through the world and you know everything is cut off and um, you know, lots of people die just few survivors so um, it has this group of um, Shakespearean actors and they just travel around to all the different settlements um, of people and put on performances but what I liked about this one is it actually goes back and forth between um, before the pandemic and then after and um, I really loved how everything came together in the end so I'm actually really excited to read this one again and knowing the end and watching all those little pieces come together so this um, will be a great read and I'm really excited for it and then the next one that I'm hoping to read I was also supposed to read in June and I already have checked out and it's called No Exit and it is a thriller and we have this group of people who are trapped in like a diner and because um, of snowstorm and um, the main character goes out into the parking lot and discovers a young girl like trapped in the trunk of a car and so we know that somebody trapped in that diner is a you know a kidnapper or a killer and they've got to figure out who it is so um, I hear it's one that I'm going to be when I start it that I'm gonna be up late and you know freaking out if I read it in the dark so should be fun should be interesting and then the last one that I'm gonna read is called the devil and the dark water and I read another book by this author last year and it was called The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and that one was super fun. My sister recommended it to me and this book is a new release by the same author so I'm really excited for it. The back describes it as a mix-up of like Stephen King horror with um, Sherlock Holmes type detective work and throw in Pirates of the Caribbean. So it should be an interesting mashup. So um, and because my sister said it's really good, I'm definitely going to give it a try. So as I've summed up these books, it's just occurred to me that I have a very um, themed read this month if that makes sense. Usually I read a lot of historical fiction and stuff. I don't have anything on my list this month that's historical fiction, which is weird, but it's also okay to, you know, read other genres. So um, I definitely have a lot of scary stuff, horror, thriller, so I probably won't read anything like camping or anything like that. That would be a little freaky. So I'm excited for these. It sounds like they should be fun and a lot of edge of my seat type books so I look forward to it and let me know in the comments if you've read any of these what you thought 
and um, or if you're gonna try to read any of these or maybe what you're reading this summer so and of course as always don't forget to subscribe so that you don't ever miss what's happening in the next chapter and thanks for watching